Hi, Vicki Sicliano here from SayWowMarketing.com. So do you want to know how to start your own podcast, but you're not sure where to begin? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you five rules that you need to know before you even start. So it's going to save you time and money before you even begin your own podcast. So if you want to know how to podcast like a boss, I'm going to show you what you need to know. Stick around and stay tuned. Okay, so my number one tip for your podcast is for you to invest in some great equipment, okay? You can just start with some basics in the beginning, like what I'm using here to record the audio on this video is an ATR 3350. It's a lavalier, you can use that, but just get the audio off of whatever it is that you're recording your podcast on. So if you're using your computer, don't use your PC microphone get an external microphone and get that audio super, super sharp. Okay. For my podcast, currently I'm using a Blue Yeti microphone. And in another video that you can check out, I show you how I use this with a pop filter, okay, to cushion the sound. And you want to keep improving your audio for your production so that people subconsciously, they're not going to know that you have a super crisp audio but they are going to pay attention to what it is that you're saying and you want to draw your audience in. Okay, so that's my number one tip. Secondly, you want to make sure that you come up with a theme for your podcast. Don't just have a podcast like Vicky's podcast. Yay, everyone, come on over and listen to what I have to say because it's so super important. Really, people want to know what the theme of your podcast is, what your show is about. When you're big, maybe you can have a show like Kelly. Um, and Michael, right? The Today Show. People know what that brand is, but if they're not familiar with who you are, you need to know what value it is that people are going to find when they come to listen to your podcast. Okay, so a theme. My number three tip is to make sure that you come up with at least 20 ideas for that theme. Now, my podcast is Smarter Online Marketing, okay? And I encourage you to go and check it out, sign up, and, and see what it's all about. All of my episodes have to do with one theme. That's online marketing. And that could be a number of things. There are subcategories within that. There's visual marketing, social media, search engine optimization, and now I'm going to be helping people with podcasting because it's such a popular topic, something that I'm very passionate about. So just make sure that you have a theme and within that category, um, you have subcategories. Write down at least 20 to make sure that you have a go for your idea. My number four tip is make sure that you record regularly. 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 Um, make sure that you're recording your podcast regularly so that people know that they can come to you as an authority and they can trust that you'll be there for them when they need you. Um, it could be on a Tuesday schedule. Make sure that you're posting every Tuesday. I post Tuesday-ish, somewhere around there. Um, but if that's what works for you, then make sure that you're posting you know, regularly once a week. John Lee Dumas, a phenomenal um, host for a podcast. He is, is crazy big. He's crazy good. Entrepreneur on Fire uh, with John Lee Dumas. He posts a, a post once a day. His podcast episodes are daily. You can always find something new there. That's what he chooses. That's what works for him. Uh, for myself and, and Pat Flynn, um, I also recommend checking out Amy Porterfield, Michael Hyatt completely, um, and, and a host of others, okay? They record content regularly. Now, if they have a team that helps them with editing and producing show notes and stuff like that, but make sure you can get on a consistent schedule for producing your podcasts before you even begin. Okay, so if you can come up with those 20 ideas, record them out at the beginning, make sure that you have um, some content from the get-go. And then my number five is always learn how to improve. Don't expect that you are the best podcaster and everything will always be just as, as good as it needs to be where you are. There's always some new technique, always new equipment, um, stuff to learn. I'm going to pan around here with my iPhone, which I'm recording on, so that you can see what I did recently to my wall, okay? And I just recorded a podcast with it today 
Um, so I, I want to see how the sound quality is, but I learned um, that you can also improve the audio by just cushioning the sound reflections that bounce back at you. Now I have a pretty big screen here, right, my screen. If I talk into it, it's going to come back at me with sound. And we'll talk about that in a future video. But for now, just know that um, you just need to invest in some good equipment. You need to make sure that you come up with a theme, have at least 20 ideas, record regularly, and make sure that you're always improving. Never just sit back and relax. There's always room for improvement. Okay, if you have any questions, please post your comments below for me in this video. And I look forward to hearing from you. This will also be a podcast. The audio is not going to come directly from this video. So if you want to see the podcast that I made talking about this topic, it's saywowmarketing.com slash episode 44. Okay, and please subscribe to my podcast, Smarter Online Marketing. It's on iTunes, on Stitcher. I so think that these questions that are coming to me are fabulous. And I look forward to helping you in a future video and a podcast. Thanks for watching.